Hello, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me and see me. There we go. All right, welcome to your quick stretch today. It wasn't originally on the schedule, but here we are. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can maybe hear some music. Maybe not. <laughs> we are going to start standing today. There we go. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. All right, let's start standing. We're going to start with the top and work our way down to the floor. Big breath in. And go ahead and close your eyes if you like. Bring that chin down to the chest. Slowly we are going to rock our head side to side, bringing it down, through, and over. Being very gentle when we stretch our necks. Take it all the way around. Both directions. Bring it up. All right, bring those shoulders up as high as you can to your ears and then bring them back and down. Repeat up, back, and down. Repeat to the front. Making sure to breathe. All right, bring those arms up. Big inhale. Exhale. Bring it down one more time. Up. And down. Go ahead and take that right arm across the chest. Pulling that arm in towards your chest and then bringing it up and over, reaching that hand down the back. Hold it right here and then switch sides. Come on out of that. Take your left arm, bring it across, pull it in and bring it up. And down, ooh, snap, crackle, and pop. And press this one down. And come on out of that. Hands together behind the back. Holding here, keeping those shoulders down. You can lift the arms up a little bit higher, or you can hinge at the hips. Get a nice little hamstring stretch in here. Slowly roll it back up. All right, we're gonna take it from here. Rolling through our body, we're gonna go three times down to the floor. Rolling through our spine until those fingertips touch the ground as your hands touch the ground, or even if they don't, you cross your arms, you're gonna bend the knees just a little bit. So we're not coming down, we're not sending them over the toes. Just a little bit of a bend, straighten it and roll back up. Again, since the chest roll through your spine. As you bend your knees when you're in this position, I want you to think of leading with your tailbone. And bring it back up, extend, roll through. All right, last time, bring it down. Bend those knees just a little bit. And from here, options. You can come down into a yogi squat, which is your nice low, low position. If your knees are like absolutely not today or ever, that's okay. You can stay up here. Adjust those feet, drop the shoulders. You know, find a level that works for you. Pressing those knees out. All right, and if you're right here, just go ahead and drop it back onto the ground and come down into a butterfly position. Scooch those hips in just a little bit. I want you to just pick those knees up and slowly bring them down. 
Think as you inhale, knees come up and squeeze in. Exhale, stay open, lean forward using those elbows. Good, all right. Onto our hands and knees. We're gonna take our right foot forward. So we're up on our, our knees here. Again, we are working on a little bit of some ankle mobility here today. So think nice right angle. From here, you're gonna place your hands on each side or you can bring them out in front of you a little bit further. You're just gonna rock yourself forward until you feel that stretch in your calf and you might feel it a little bit in the front of your ankle as well. Your hands are there so that you're not putting too much pressure on that foot. And then bring it right back in line. Take a second to breathe. And then one more time, we're gonna send that knee past the toe. I know, that feels very weird. <laughs> little stretch here, send it back, switch legs with that left leg. Bring it up. Again, make sure that you have a nice flat back here. I don't want the big arching. Still think flat back. Rock yourself forward, stopping wherever you stop naturally. My left side is not as flexible as my right. Bring it back. Rock it forward one more time. All right, back down to our hands and knees. Look down between and make sure your knees are spaced apart. Hands right under the shoulders. We are gonna take our left or your right, whichever one you wanna start with first. Bring it right behind the head. From here, turn, slowly lift, looking up at the ceiling. Back, back down, other side. Right hand behind the head. Inhale. Turn and lift. This is really good just for that upper back behind the shoulder blades. Back down. All right, rock back to a child's pose. Reach those arms out. And rest your forehead on the ground. Inhale back up. We are going to take our right leg and bring it forward in front of you for a pigeon pose. So adjust this position as needed. If you need to bend this back knee, you can be right here and then lean it forward over those hips to make it a little bit harder. Turn that knee in, square off those hips to the floor. And you're gonna work on pulling this right foot, inching it as far away from you as possible until you find that position that's worked for you. For me, it's about right here. If you have flexible hips, you might be able to get it into a nice right angle. If you'd like to take it up a notch, you can bring it over on your elbows here. Take some nice, more deep breaths. Inhale up. I'm gonna stretch here. You can take this back leg. Give it a very gentle pull here. Our quads are very sensitive when they're not very warm. So you wanna always grab from around the ankle. You wanna feel just as you start to feel tension and then slowly release. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So bring it back to all fours. This time we are gonna increase that stretch one more time. So our left hand comes behind our head. Turn and lift. Elbow to the ceiling. Bring it down. We're gonna continue with this movement from here. Left hand is gonna come, send it underneath the right, slide it through. You can keep your hips up in the air or you can slide back to your child's pose here option. Inhale for three, two, and one. Slowly come back out of it. All fours, right hand behind the head. Same thing, lift, look. Back 
send that right hand underneath, palm to the ceiling, slide it down. Help stretch right behind those shoulder blades. Help loosen around the neck as well. Inhale up. Left foot comes forward. Sliding it down into our pigeon. Adjusting your legs as needed. We're gonna hold this here for about 25 to 30 seconds. Bringing it down on the elbows. All right, bring it back up. We are going to take our left leg and send it out to the side in our all fours position. So it comes out, straight out to the side. Facing forward, knee is still facing forward. So my foot's like that. From here, you're gonna rock back. And rock it up. And back. Taking it nice and slow as you sit back. One more time. All fours, other leg. Side. Right leg comes out to the side. Stopping where you feel that stretch. And rocking back. And up, and back, and up one more time. Taking it nice and slow. All right, bring it back in. All fours, we are gonna flip it over onto our back. Just a few minutes left. Go ahead and start seated. You take your hands around. We're gonna just roll through our spine. Take a nice little roll. All right, lay it down flat. Bring those feet up into the air. You can grab behind the thighs, flex the feet. Point and flex, alternate. Do some ankle rolls. If you need to bend the knees as well, that's okay. It can take off some of that tension while you roll it around. All right, we're gonna take this right leg, pull it in while keeping it as straight as you can. Doesn't need to be perfectly straight. You can rest your head down on the ground, grabbing behind your thigh, making sure that that left leg and hip is still pressed into the floor. Bend it at the knee and bring it up and over to the left. Do your little cross stretch. Inhale, bring it back, switch legs. Left leg extends up. Ooh. Right leg extends out. Left leg is not having it today. Like, nope. Bend it, bring it up and over to the right. Keeping those shoulders square to the ceiling. And inhale, bring it back in. Bring both legs in, grab the insides of those feet for happy baby, or you can do one leg at a time. Pressing the knees down on each side of you. Rock yourself up, seated position. Scooch it back. We're gonna take three nice deep breaths with our hands just on our sides, on the sides of those legs. Let yourself just hang over. You can let your head just naturally just shake it out. Feel that tension throughout your hamstrings. A nice little stretch here. Close your eyes. Take three more nice deep breaths. 
And reach a little bit closer to those feet if you can. And exhale, roll it up. Fine, shake out those hands, roll the hands out. Anything else that you feel is needed. Otherwise, thank you so much for stretching with me today. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone.